This is the Extra Mile Report with Gideon Yeri. A very good morning wherever you are watching us from. This is Kibu TV. My name is Gideon Yeri. In the program today, the news bulletin, we have a lot lined up for you. Matters politics, Bungoma by election, but... Do you know what? We also have an Iwat mentee who will be joining us live from Kisumu. Who is this? Linda Achaga is joining us live from Kisumu. She is ready for that conversation. Don't stay away. Keep it Kibu TV. And in the program, we also have the political analyst. We'll be joined by Gideon Awar and Oliver. You can weigh in through that conversation through all social media platforms at Kibu TV and the Extra Mile. This is what we have for you in the news headlines. Bungoma is set for a by-election on 8th December. What a hot cake. Kibabi University Office of Career Services on the front line in mentorship program. On to our first news. At least five candidates have expressed their interest to replace Moses Wetangula. The seat fell vacant after Fort Kenya leader Moses Wetangula quit to contest the National Assembly Speaker's position, which he won, paving the way for a by-election. Mr. Wetangula was elected senator on August 9 for a third term, bagging 286-146 votes and trouncing five other contestant politicians in the seat. A former Bumula MP, Mwambu Mabonga, Jacob Machacha Majembe, who is a former aide of the former Minister Fred Gumbo, Bishop Haman Kassili, who is the chairman of the Lake Region Economic Bloc, private sector organizations. Wetangula's aide Wafula Wakoli and Agri Mutuma Amisi, UDA candidate Mr. Mwambu Mabonga, who lost to Jack Maboka of DAPK in Bumbula Parliamentary Rice, has a chance to salvage his political career. The Reverend Kassili of the Lighthouse Church said he is the best suited candidate to clinch the seat. Mr. Namisi, who vied for the Webbia East MP and ODM but lost to Ford Kenya's Martin Papella, said he had been endorsed by the Tachon elders to seek a truce with Wetangula and vie for the senatorial seat. Political analyst Isaac Wanjikeche said that Ford Kenya and Kenya Kwanza extension will pull on a fierce fight to retain the seat. Mr. Wakoli, a long-serving aide to Mr. Wetangula, has also tossed himself into the race and believed that he had seat with Ford Kenya. Mr. Wakoli, who was compelled by Mr. Wetangula to drop his bid for the Kandu parliamentary seat and support Mr. John McCulley, who once seems to be enjoying the backing of Ford Kenya FCS and residents across Bungoma nine constituencies, speaking during service at St. Francis of Assis Myanga Parish, Kimaiti constituency, Mr. Wakol said that he has Wetangula's blessing, therefore suitable. For the position on matters mentorship program academic visits in the institution have been great and significant impact to high school students as they get for in common agenda the mentorship program that brings together various schools in the western region it takes place every thursday on a weekly basis to familiarize the students on the university courses and life at university as a way of preparing and encouraging them to work smart in their academics on 10th November, Dr. Robert Wafula, the director in the Office of Career Services, urged students to always target and aim higher for them to become great speaking in an event that brought together St. Matthias and Colonia Boys High School. Sensitivity to students and peer coaching that makes them feel part and parcel of this university. Mr. Liru, a lecturer in the university, challenged the students that disability is not inability. Therefore, it should be not used as an excuse. At the same time, use this opportunity to motivate them, to encourage them so that they can be able to excel. The reason that we come here is to be mentored on our academic. Teachers also thanked the university administration for creating room for greatness through the mentorship program that inspires and prepares the students for their future. Because the chairperson also had a sensational message to students, and this is what she had to say. We always like to to empower, to mentor the young generation. That is always the passion. But as I have told you earlier, that joining us live is Linda Achaga. Maybe we can get to know what is this. I what, Linda Achaga? If you can hear me. All right, good morning. Good 
the IWAT program that is scheduled to take place for one year and it is mentoring journalism students across the country. And it happens that you are one of the mentees. Will you please introduce or tell us who is this Linda and how is this award beneficial to you? Okay. Thank you very much, Gideon. I'm Linda Achaba from Kidab University, a third year student. And um, I'm a beneficiary of the IWAT program. Okay, I'll start by introducing the IWAT. The IWAT is the International Association of Women in Radio and Television. It's a global non-profit organization that is meant to benefit female students. And uh, last month, we had a cohort of 50 students, 20 students from Montana University and Kibabi University. All right, that's great. You had a cohort from Maseno. That's a 10 students from Maseno and 10 students from Kibabi University. Maybe in a period of one year, where do you see yourself? Okay, thank you for that question. I see myself in a, in a journalistic field whereby the IWAT program was meant to be introduced to us so as to envisage the various the opportunity to enable us explore more on our skills. All right, that's great, Linda Achaga. But one more last question. Maybe you can answer this. You being a lady and in that journalistic field, what's your message to ladies? Whoever lady is watching you live now, what or which words do you have for them? Okay, I can tell them to just know their place in the because like uh, the IWAT mentorship program was introduced so as to enable us to have that freedom of speech so as to, to surf through online sites with no fear. So you should just uh, bring the difference in the journalistic field, have passion and go for it. All right, thank you very much, Linda Chaga, for that impact. In fact, it's a good program that is meant to mentor female journalists across the country, and we expect more, and I wish you the very best in that and in your selection as a journalist or upcoming journalist. All right, uh, onto our newsroom right now. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki declares crackdown on Nairobi magazine. He says the government was aware of the public outcry following reported cases of insecurity and determined to act decisively to raid Nairobi and other towns of criminal gang in order to put an end to muggings and other violent crimes in Nairobi that are mostly waged by knife welding thugs. It is the position of government to follow up on the policy directives and the commitments made by His Excellency the President to ensure that we rid our country from a girl of a few citizens who think that they have the wherewithal to dare and even try to hold fellow citizens at ransom. We are rolling out an unprecedented response against criminals and we are going to go to their hideouts we will look for the criminals and do to them what the law says we do to criminals in accordance with the law of our country and all other applicable international laws this and more will be coming in the next broadcast. And to, on that note, we're taking our first commercial break, but once we're back in sports, Kibabi University Taekwondo team prepares for the 2022 World Taekwondo Championships. This and more after the break. Nitumie na Airtel money, na yuko free! Ni merisi, kata simu, nataka ku live stream the game. Experience our expanded 4G network coverage and send money for free on Airtel to Airtel. Make Chaguo smarter on voice, data, and now on Airtel Money. Airtel, the most affordable network.
This is the Extra Mile Report with Gideon Yeri. Alright, welcome back. Remember that you are watching the Extra Mile. But as I have told you earlier, that later on we'll be joined by the political analyst. We have Gideon Awar, who is a political analyst from Bungoma. We also have Oliver, a political analyst. But now, let's get to know what is in sports. Kibabi University Taekwondo team had excellent training program in Jordan with Jordan Taekwondo national team in the country seat Amani prepared for the 2022 World Taekwondo Championships scheduled to take place from 13th to 12th November in Mexico and the East African University Games to be held at Ndeje University in Uganda from 17th to 22nd December 2023. You know what? News done, sports done. It's time for our today's guests. Who are these? A political analyst and undergraduate student at Kibabi University. This is Gideon Award. And we also have Oliver Ocheng. All this coming next. We are taking a short command. <music> All right, still on the Extra Mile Report, as I have told you earlier on, that we are joined by political analysts. Who are these? We have Gideon, who is right in the studio. And joining us live is Oliver Ocheng from Kisumu. Remember that you can weigh in through this conversation through all the social media platforms at the Extra Mile, Kibu TV, and Kibab University Journalism Club. By elections is set to be conducted this December 8th in Bungoma County, and all the residents will be required to go back to the ballot box and elect their best senator. This comes a time after Wetangula, who was the, uh, the one who was elected in the previous general election, who succeeded and applied for the national speaker's position, and eventually he won that, so he paved the way for other aspirants to contest on that. We are aware that there are a lot who are contesting on, for, on that race, but let's get to hear what our analysts have to say. If you can hear me, Oliver, good morning. Good morning. All right, great. Uh, in Bungoma County there, they normally say that it's a two-horse race. We have the Mabonga, the UDA candidate, and we also have the Wafula Wakoli, who was the former PA of the Moses Wetangula. And uh, he's the one who is being backed up by the party Ford Kenya. And we also know that we have all these candidates that are coming from one coalition, that is Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. Depending or based on these sentiments by the residents concerning the two horse race. What's your suggestion? What's your view? You as the political analyst in Bungoma County there. Yeah, according to me, I can see Wakoli is going to take this chance of being the senator of Bungoma County. Because when Wetangula is behind you, it means that you are the winner. Wetangula is the say of Bungoma County. Thank you very much, Gideon. I hope you get me clear. All right, thank you very much for that contribution. In fact, it's uh, something that uh, maybe we, we will wait until that uh, other December 8th. Our people from those county or from that county, they will decide on that. Uh, Gideon Award. Yeah, I, How are you? I'm fine. Right. Welcome, <laughs> yeah. welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, so, uh, as you have heard, that uh, political analyst also in that county and is talking about the Wafula. Wakoli. It means, though he's a political analyst, yeah. but he's one side, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe what's your view about the Bungoma politics? Yeah, actually, to whoever who understands uh, the politics of Bungoma, yes. uh, it's a very simple, according to me, it's a very simple race as we view it right now, because if we based it on two, maybe we say two bulls, two political bulls right now, that yes. is. Wakoli and Wabonga. And if you understand politics of Bungoma, once you are being backed up by yes. Ford Kenya as a political party, yes. then you have high chances of winning the race. All right. if, if, if we view back 
to any other political seat. Yes. M- maybe let us look at uh, the gubernatorial seat. When, when uh, Weekly Fangamati won the, the, the seat uh, in two, 2017 general election, yes. actually he had, uh, it was, uh, was uh, being supported or he was under Ford Kenya as a political party. Yes. So it means that Ford Kenya has a lot has uh, actually has impact especially yeah, yeah, when it, it comes has to voting impact when yeah. it comes to politics in Bungoma yes like uh, right now people of Bungoma trusted so much the the current speaker of the national assembly that is Moses Wetangula Moses Wetangula maybe I cut you short yeah uh, let's get to hear what Wafula said in one of the of his <laughs> campaigns oh, okay. uh, and then you'll be able to get right yeah and uh, from his Fine. Speech. All right, on that technical reach then. All right, all right, it's coming, it's coming. We are ready for you. All right, that's what Wafla Wakoli had to say. <laughs> yeah, and uh, here even the woman, any comment uh, about actually uh, even the, the the woman backed him up. Yes. Remember, Wafula is a was a personal assistant to Weta. Yes. By then, when he was uh, a senator, yes. So it means that this is a simple race. All right, and what about? The UDA candidates, you can you can compare them because yeah. we are aware that all of them they are coming from one coalition party, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mabonga from the UDA yeah. and the so how 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 is this right by <laughs> now? It seems to be too tough, huh? Eh? Uh, right. Yeah, I understand. In in every competition like politics, yes, politics just like a football match. Remember, in a football match, even if you have an opponent, you know very well that. Once upon a time, you will meet and compete for maybe the three points that are there. So if we have Uda and uh, the Ford Kenya, it means this is a kind of a, a friendly match they are having towards this election that's coming. Remember, for Uda candidates yes. and Ford Kenya, they are under one coalition. Yes. And uh, they are not only the candidates that are in that race. We yes. have almost five candidates. So maybe this can be another trick to outweigh the other candidates so that the, 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 the seat can remain within the coalition there. All right, that's what our political analyst is saying about Fungoma. But what I can say is that, remember that Fungoma residents or people from Fungoma County, they have the answer. But on that note, we are taking a very short commercial break. And when we come back, we will be able to get to know what people are saying in the social media handles. All right, still on the extra mile report, but you know what? Two gentlemen. We have the political analyst on the farthest end here on my right hand. This is Gideon Award. He has been with us in the first session, and now we are starting the second session we are joined with a voter from bungoma county you introduce yourself first so that the viewers can be able to know you then we proceed from there it's still on matters by election bungoma county yes i'm daniel Cheng from bungoma county a resident from kandui constituency all right you are from kandui constituency yes uh, what what are the people saying about Bungoma by election? Yes, in Bungoma, as far as by election is concerned, on yes. senatorial seat. Yes. As you all know, Moses Wetangula is now in parliament. Yes. And he has been the senator for Bungoma County for over three terms. Yes. So it is just obvious. Okay. You can't ask who will be the next <laughs> senator. Right. Let me not put words. Yes. What is this obvious thing? Because. 
there are people coming from various backgrounds. They don't know the obvious things. Lubin acquisition, it is just, disclose it. It is just an obvious. Uh-huh. Old Kenya has been at the top in right. Bungoma County. And it is obvious there is no other political party that can outshine. All right. That is what voters can do in constituency are saying. But let's get to hear what people in the social media platforms are saying. Here we have one thing that I'm enjoying the show here in Kandui. Oi, from Kandui again. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. In my opinion, I support Honorable Wakol because he has a strong influence among the youth and this population is the UDA majority, is the majority. Not forgetting that UDA in which is Fort Kenya has its majority supporters in Bungoma. This is Morgan, who is following us right from Kandui constituency. We also have another one down here. Said, I'm Linda from Kisumu. I'm having a follow-up as well of the issue concerning the Bungoma senatorial race. Uh-huh. Enjoying the show. Good. Those are the comments, as you have heard. All the comments coming to you in the studio, they're all about to follow our calling. All about to follow our calling. All right, maybe I'll take you back to one of the fun days, the senator or the previous, the former senator, who is the current Speaker of the National Assembly, that is Senator, that is Wetangula. Honorable Wetangula, during a live broadcast in a KBC radio, he was able to say that of Ford Kenya, fraternity, and the people at large, mm. they are backing up who? Wakoli, all right? Yeah. So we also see that Wakoli is getting full support from the Ford Kenya and the people at large. But at the same time, we have the UDA candidates. What's the impact of the so-called Papa Waroma to Bungoma residents? <laughs> oh, okay, if you can recall at, uh, at the beginning of the conversation, I told you about... Uh, this this issue of maybe politics becoming a like a football match. Yes, we we have we can say there is kind of a friendly game that's bl- being played there, but if you remember very well, there are well of remember for the Kenya it, it, it has the voice in Bungoma County. All right, thank you very much on that. And uh, maybe as we conclude, you tell us. What you are, you can tell her, talk to your views, whoever is watching you live, whether from Bungoma or whichever place, your last word maybe to them. Okay, I as the resident of Bungoma County, yes, I'll only urge the people from Bungoma County not right. to waste their votes. Let's just <laughs> cast our votes and support our food Kenya, Papa Aroma. All right, yes, that's great. Our political analyst, yeah, what's your say? I hear him like he has turned this to be <laughs> a <campaign. laughs> but it's not a comparing to so oh, please. Okay, okay, it's fine. Yeah, I yeah. understand that. Remember, I'm Gideon over. I'm Gideon over exactly, and uh, I also call myself the rural folk. Remember, you can also follow me. I'm also a journalist, by the and uh, do much of politics. You can also follow me at uh, maybe. Uh, internet platforms as uh, get, as the rural folk, yeah, yeah, the rural folk. I mean, all right, that's great. And on that note, do you know what? It's all about politics. But the only word, especially to the current Bungoma County residents, let's come out in large numbers during that by election. Exercise your democracy and make sure you elect leaders that will be of exemplary leadership or behavior so that they can take Bungoma County to where it is supposed to be. I've been your host, Gideon Nieri, and this is the Extra Mile Show coming live every Friday at 9. But for more comprehensive stories, visit all our social media platforms at the Extra Mile Show, Kibu TV, and Kibabi University Journalism Club. You will be able to get all these. Goodbye.